Yet another day of flight cancellations at JFK Airport while crews work to fix an electrical issue. It is impacting dozens of flights in and out of Terminal 1. CBS 2's Carolyn Gossoff at JFK with frustrated flyers. Bad timing as winter break is here and travelers heading on vacation are facing dozens of flight cancellations as the power outage in Terminal 1 drags on. The airline doesn't know anything. We don't know anything. Jamil Rahman trying to lead a pilgrimage to Mecca says his group is heartbroken. This is the busiest city, city in the world. How do they not have a backup plan for this? Terminal 1 crippled since early Thursday when an electrical panel malfunction in a utility room caused a small fire and a terminal-wide power outage. CBS2 learned one damaged electrical panel has been repaired, allowing power restoration to part of Terminal 1. Full restoration, though, requires installation of a new electrical transformer, which is in transit from Georgia. The Port Authority advised Terminal 1 will remain closed through Friday as it continues working to restore flight operations as quickly as possible. Travelers should check with their carriers for flight status before coming to the airport. Airport, but not all knew to do that. People are arriving at the airport um, having not been told ahead of time that their flights were canceled. This Air New Zealand flight, already eight hours into its route, had to make a U turn and go back since there was nowhere to land at JFK. The Travel Smart website, The Points Guy, advises stay up to date. We really encourage travelers to download their airlines app, make sure they're subscribed to those push notifications, check sites like Flight Aware to know where your aircraft is. Again, even if you're not immediately affected by the Terminal 1 outage. The St. Anthony High School students we met Thursday trying to get to Rome to sing for the Pope finally got there via a flight out of Newark. They were excited with just this fight. It seemed like days of, of torture. The Port Authority now says it expects limited operations to resume on Saturday and will conduct a thorough review of what happened with the private entity that operates Terminal 1. At Kennedy Airport, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News. No consolation to the travelers, but the Port Authority also points out that Terminal 1 represents only 5% of all JFK's scheduled passenger flights.